Guys, we have legit one day and four hours left until NBA 2K19 finally launches, man. So I got you guys with this last video in the five part series, man. The top five centers and a couple honorable mentions, man. I'm so excited for NBA 2K19 to release, man. Yo, if you guys are excited for NBA 2K19 to come out, man, smash the like button on this video, man. Let me know in the comments below. Type in, type in that you're excited, man. I wanna see who's excited, bro. Let's get it, man. We're about to grind up man real quick though look at the top of the screen man there's my twitch and my twitter man go show love follow me man i'm super active on twitter best way to reach out to me but anyways man i'm oh my god bro i'm so freaking hype bro it's like crazy bro and before we get into this video man let me give a huge shout out to legit grinders man Go hit him up on Twitter if you want to get your badges grinded, man, in NBA 2K19. I know the game's not out yet, but once you guys watch this video later on, if you guys want to get your badges grinded, man, go hit up Legit Grinders. I'm vouching for this Legit Badge Grinder, man. It's a badge grinding service that'll help you guys out, get your overall up, get your badges up, hot zones, whatever. You can use the code GINO for 10% off your purchase, man. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video, man. The top five center builds in NBA 2K19 couple honorable mentions the first build i want to show you guys is the defending primary secondary rebounding really good freaking build man six hall of fame three gold six silver one bronze i'm gonna show you guys the hall of fame badges include defensive stopper charge card rim protector chase down artist bruiser brick wall then you get the gold badges lob city finisher hustle rebounder gold which is a dub in my opinion and you get quick reflexes also silver badges include posterizer dub Put back king, relentless finisher, break starter, pick dodger, and pickpocket. Then you get pick and roller on bronze. Really good build, guys. It's gonna be good at rebounding. It's gonna be good at defense, obviously. I would make this build, if you guys make this build, make them seven foot three. And for the weight, make them somewhere between neutral and like 20, 30 pounds heavier. You can go max weight if you want, but it doesn't really matter as much. And then for the wingspan, max wingspan, guys. Max your wingspan. If you're not a shooting archetype, 100%. If you're not a shooting or speed boosting, like ball handling archetype, max your wingspan, guys. Next build I wanna show you guys is the primary rebounding, secondary driving and finishing. This build will have three Hall of Fame badges, guys. Seven gold, four silver, six bronze. Hall of Fame badges include putback king, bruiser and brick wall, which are two dubs right there. Then you also get lob city finisher, gold, Posterizer, which is a dub, hustle rebounder, dub, break starter, quick reflexes, relentless finisher, pick and roller, man. Then you actually get defensive stopper on silver, which is a dub, rim protector, chase on artist, dubs, charge card. Then the six bronze badges you guys get are acrobat, teardropper, up and under specialist, pick dodger, pick pocket, one man fast break. Make this build, guys, same thing. Seven foot three, guys, in my opinion. This is my opinion, guys. Seven foot three and make them somewhere between uh, medium weight and then the heaviest weight, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter, guys. You just pick and choose what you wanna do, man. Arms though, wingspan, max out the wingspan, guys. Always max out the wingspan on these non-shooting archetypes, man. So the next build that I think is a dub is the pure glass cleaner, guys. Primary skill rebounding, secondary skill rebounding. You get five Hall of Fame badges, guys. Four gold, five silver, two bronze. Hall of Fame badges include putback king, break starter, and then these next three, Hustle Rebounder, Bruiser, and Brick Wall are all dubs in my opinion. Gold badges, Lob City, Finisher, Charge Card, Rim Protector, that's a dub on gold, Quick Reflexes. Then you get Silver badges, Posterizer, that's a dub, Defensive Stopper, dub, Taste on Artist, dub. Then you also get Pick and Roller, Relentless Finisher. Bronze badges include Pick Dodger and Pick Pocket. Guys, if you make this build, I will make them seven foot three. Make them the biggest wingspan and then weight. Same thing, man. Somewhere between medium and heaviest weight. You pick and choose what you want. Do you want to be slightly faster? Do you want to be, you know, do you want to be slightly faster or what do you want? Anyway, somewhere between medium and heaviest weight should be fine. I would probably go somewhere between medium though and like 15, 20, 30 pounds heavier. Don't go too crazy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Next build I'm going to show you guys is the two-way rebounder. You got rebounding, primary skill, secondary skill is defending. You get two Hall of Fame badges, guys. Nine gold, five silver, no bronze badges. This build is good. You get the Hall of Fame badges are Bruiser and Brick Wall, which is a dub. You get Lob City Finisher, Putback King, Break Starter, Hustle Rebounder, Defensive Stopper, Charge Card, Rim Protector, Chase Down Artist, Quick Reflexes for the gold badges. 
And silver badges are the post riser, pick and roller, relentless finisher, pick dodger, and pick pocket. Me personally, I would probably make defending primary, rebounding secondary if I was making this type of build. But I know a lot of people want rebounding primary. This is still a really good build, guys. These are both good builds, the ones I was talking about. Just because I would make it personally, it would fit my playstyle to be defending primary, rebounding secondary. Doesn't mean that this build is any worse. This is still a strong build. Seven foot three guys, max wingspan, same thing guys. Make the weight, you know, a few ticks over from neutral or neutral or you can go heaviest, whatever man. Just go, just go make him a nice big boy, you know what I'm saying? Now a few honorable mentions guys, I gotta show you guys the pure post score, post scoring primary and secondary post scoring. You guys get five hall of fame, two gold, 11 silver, seven bronze, really good badge guys. Hall of fame badges include Post spin technician, drop stepper, up and under specialist, bruiser and brick wall. Gold badges are difficult shots, relentless finisher. Silver badges, you get so many silver badges. Mid range dead eye, tireless scorer, post striker, which is good. Tear dropper, pick and roller, break starter. And dimer silver, man, that's pretty dub, man, in my opinion. You also get hustle rebounder, charge card, rim protector, quick reflexes. Then the bronze badges, guys. You guys get pick and popper, lob city finisher, acrobat, putback king, lob city passer, defensive stopper, free throw ace. Really good build, guys. I would go this build. If you're going to make him a center, I would make him like 7'2 or 7'3. Max wingspan, in my opinion. And then weight, make him somewhere around neutral or a little bit heavier. It's up to you guys. I prefer him as a power forward, but if you guys want to make him a center a little bit taller, you get slightly different badges. Still a really good build, in my opinion. Next honorable mention is the primary post scorer, secondary shot creator man. This is still a good build at a center. I would prefer to make him as a power forward. This is another build that was in my power forward video, but three hall of fame, seven gold, seven silver, eight bronze badges. You guys get hall of fame, post pen technician, drop stepper, and up and under specialist. Gold badges include mid range dead eye, difficult shots, tireless scorer, tear dropper, relentless finisher, bruiser and brick wall. And silver badges, you guys get posterizer, break starter, pick and roller, dimer, which is a dub, quick reflexes, free throw ace, and charge card. Then the bronze badges you guys get are pick and popper, lob city finisher, acrobat, put back king, lob city passer, hustle rebounder, defensive stopper, rim protector. Really good build for the 1v1 court if that's a thing. 2v2 court, still gonna be good. Threes, you can make them work, just make your team around them. Same thing, guys, I would make this build somewhere between. Like 7.3 or 7.2, max wingspan, weight, neutral, a little bit heavier, you can go max weight, doesn't really matter guys, it's really up to you. But these are my choices guys, I kind of flew through these picks because I'm trying to like not make this video too long, we're just going to show you guys what I think are the best builds. I'm just so hyped for 2K19 man, I can't make this video like crazy long, going into crazy ass detail and stuff, we're just going to see once the game comes out, but... Another reason I'm actually rushing through this video a little bit, not really rushing, but I'm not going to spend too much time to try to make it longer just to talk more, is I'm actually going to drop a video later tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, but I'm going to try to put it later tonight. It's going to be my 99 overall build, my legend build, the build that I'm grinding as my main build to get him to 99 overall. That build video is actually dropping later tonight, guys, most likely. So if you start if so if you guys want to know what I'm making tune into that if you guys are still watching this video right now type in loyal gang Gino gang center gang UK 19 gang in the chat man in the comments below I'm just curious who's loyal man I appreciate you guys so much thanks for all the support man drop a like on this video man comment below your feedback what you guys think what are you guys making if you're making a center or what build are you making if you're not making a center man Sub up to the channel, guys. Post notifications on. I will see you guys in that next video, man. Shout out to you guys, man. Much love from your boy, Gino. Peace out.